so the idea of Saturn and Uranus is a very interesting thing because there's so much healing that comes in here because Saturn teaches us and Uranus I almost want to say inspires but Uranus is so sudden so it, it might be more like sort of pushes you into that higher octave of the truth or the solution or the understanding or the consciousness. So what I'm learning personally, because I have Saturn on my, near my sun, 13 degrees away, but in the first house with Mars, you know, it's a strong energy. And Saturn has always shown me what it feels like in the alignment and what it feels like to feel restricted as well and to learn and become my own authority. And this is what Saturn teaches us wherever it is in your chart. And Uranus teaches us to change, to not stay the same, to revolutionize whatever area in our life that we're working with. And these two together, you know, and how they're working with Chiron is so interesting because I got my information with Chiron through downloads, but you know, just in the research, and I'm reading a book right now that I'm really inspired by, that I have some differences. I have some differences, but I also respect and honor the understanding and the information that people before me have recorded and they talk about something called the Rainbow Bridge. And the Rainbow Bridge between Saturn and Uranus is about learning what the alignment is, but letting go of the alignment is what takes us, allows consciousness to come through from that higher octave of Uranus. And so it's the knowledge, it's the download. It's like, ah, I've got this idea. I understand now, I get it. It's, it's downloads that come from consciousness. It doesn't come from, you know, our brains. Uranus deals with the nervous system. So it's a sudden feeling, it's a sudden happening. It's a sudden thing that gives you that. Sometimes it's not the download right away. Sometimes it's, if you're not getting it, Uranus will, <clears throat> I'll just say encourage you in a strong way <laughs> to to get it. But between the two of these, if I was to talk about like a balance or a bridge between of healing with Chiron, one of my downloads is when you're getting this trigger, this is a pattern that happens that comes and it it forces you to feel something deeper than you can really even describe most of the time. And Saturn teaches us to take your alignment, take your authority over your energy, excuse me, when triggered, and hear that you've taken authority, you've taken your alignment, you've taken your energy back. It's here where once you're there, you've taken your authority over the energy and not let the energy take control of you. This is where the feeling comes after you feel, you feel something like, Oh, you feel good that you've, you've taken control here and not really a control, but you've decided not to react and you've whatever you've stepped away from a situation or you have stopped yourself and did some breathing. Whatever it is, you're taking authority over your energy and your alignment. And once you do that, there's a feeling that comes over you and you feel, ah, and then you can let go. And in that letting go is when Uranus comes in with the answers. And I didn't realize, I didn't real. I knew they were associated and that Uranus, uh, Chiron was in between um, Uranus and Saturn and there was they're right there together there's a reason for that you know and I didn't think about any of this when I was getting these downloads and it was interesting that the downloads what was exactly me taking authority over my energy 
because I was searching for an answer and I didn't, I found answers, but I didn't feel the answers that satisfied me because I, I knew there was more somehow. And I was desperate because I was in my Chiron return. So when I, I finally got to a point where I just took authority over my energy and I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to meditate. I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to, whatever I have to do. So I sat down and meditated and I called on Chiron and I was like, Chiron, I need to know what this is. You need to help me understand because I know that I came here to be a master and potentially all of us really. And so I know that, you know, I wouldn't just come here to be a victim or feel this feeling and this pain. And I know it makes us human and everything, but I know that I, I wouldn't want to be triggered every two weeks. So I said, what is this? I know there's a reason. I know I'm a higher intelligent being, so I must have a really good reason. My soul must have a really good reason. I need to know what that is, and I need to know what to do with it. And over a month's time, by taking that authority over my alignment and my energy to, to try to do anything to search out for what, this, what I can do with this um, healing, I found that higher octave of understanding and knowledge in the downloads that I got. And so when anyone else through heal, I got the downloads of how to heal it and I've helped many, many hundreds of clients to do it. And I'd love to help you if you want to reach out. But the point is, is that it, the understanding of being able to heal and also get through the Saturn Uranus square at this time is to understand what the energy is that's maybe restricting you or even initiate. It's an initiation is what I'm feeling right now, currently. And, and this initiation is, is making you feel this way. Then take authority over your energy. Breathe, align yourself, open yourself, open your heart, open your palms and call on your higher self or any information that wants to come through and notice how when you took authority over your energy that the understanding comes and it's so funny that a fish just popped out of the water and then the pisces the neptune the the you know the unconscious comes into conscious oh that was perfect i'm going to end it right there that was too good so I'll, I'll have more videos on this, but uh, just wanted to come to you today and talk a little bit about some of the understandings I'm getting and uh, always growing and learning. And I'm very, very grateful for this because it's a big lesson for myself as well. So have a beautiful, beautiful day. Today is a new day. Whenever you see this video, it's a new day, new potentials. And every day is a new day. And every moment is a new moment, not necessarily tied to the past moment.